Thank you, Stefan, for those excellent opening remarks to set the, the tone for today's discussion about where the platform is moving and for, for capturing the, the thoughts of, of, of yesterday. And I want to talk a little bit more about the, the networking and knowledge sharing topic that, that you were mentioning here. It's a, it's a theme that the Secretary of State, when she spoke to us yesterday morning, emphasized had been part of the platform's genetic code, if you like, since its inception, that we are a network and that we're an informal network. It's why members have joined the platform. They want to network, they want to know what others are doing in the platform and how they can contribute. And Stefan was outlining some of the areas that we could do further, do further work in. The annual General Assembly has become the flagship of our, of our networking work in the platform. And I would like to offer my personal appreciation and recognition to Monica and her team for organizing this AGA and making this one of the best AGAs that I personally, personally attended. This AGA is important for knowledge and, and, and networking because it sought to take the balance of the networking. We're here, we're talking informally and formally. We're sharing knowledges through the marketplace. We're sharing knowledges through the themes of resilience. It's where we're combining these two aspects of what the platform tries to do best, networking and knowledge sharing. But at the same time, it is also, as I said, it's the genetic code, it's our currency, it's our utility. And some of you have said to me, in here and in the past, the platform for us is about networking and knowledge sharing, and if you don't do enough of it, then there's a question mark over the utility of the platform. We can certainly do specific tasks. Again, Stefan has outlined some of the areas that we might want to look at as particular work themes. But we need to be conscious of what it is we network and how we network. And so in this interactive session, I want to talk a little bit about what we network and, and how we network. I want to talk uh, with Nikita, who's going to talk a little bit about how he has uh, the process by which he's developed the research network process. I'm going to ask Pascal to revisit his uh, cafe event yesterday on some of the tools about how we have gone about the, the, the networking process. And as this is an interactive session, I'd like to circulate some yellow cards to you all during the session. And in those yellow cards, I want you to, on one side of the card, write what you believe to be the three priority areas that you would like to be involved in networking, what topics you would like to network. I've had colleagues come to me last night and say, Brian, we need to network about livestock. How are we going to do that? I want to hear for other topics that are coming out. I want also on the reverse side of the card, and once you've had Pascal's presentation, this will stimulate you to answer those comments. What are the best tools for networking? And I want to pose some questions that are related to that in the, in the session that we'll have after Pascal and Nikita, sorry, sorry Pascal and Nikita have spoken, spoken about the tools that we use. I want to ask members of the CADEC task team who are with us today to, back, to discuss how successful that networking has been. How, what lessons you have learnt, how would you improve the networking? Because the CADEP task team is one of our most long-standing ideas of networking and knowledge management. We need that feedback. I want to hear about other ways of, of networking. One of the questions that we were discussing yesterday is the platform was great at supplying information, supplying knowledge. How do we receive? How do we get platform members' inputs into a blog, into a, into a Facebook page that allows platform members to ask questions and pose issues and try to get a response from the membership. And I think there's some technical issues that I'd like to, to uh, ask uh, Pascal to talk about. So the supply of information, what should we be giving out and how should we be receiving that information uh, back in again. So, as this is an interactive session, I'd like to, to, to stop there. Nikita, could you come and talk a little bit about how the research group has started and the process? And then after that, I'm going to ask 
Pascal to come and talk about some of the tools and use a PowerPoint to show you some of the tools that we've had. And then I want to go back into an interactive session and start to have some feedback from you on what we should be networking and how we should be networking. And on that theme of how we should be networking, this morning on the BBC News, there were two tragic events that were highlighted. The one, the continuing saga of the, the liner off the west coast of Italy. The second item on the BBC News was the Sahel famine, or the pending famine. And it was highlighted by the work of Oxfam. So what is Oxfam to tell us about how to communicate? We talked in our side event with Sonia about the Climate Commission. The most pressing crisis in agriculture today is climate. That wasn't on the BBC World Service this morning. The platform believes that the climate change is an important issue. There's some lessons about how we communicate and what we communicate our message to a wider audience. Stefan was talking about the G8 and the G20. Fine, we can go into those fora. What are we going to communicate? How are we going to communicate it? I want to try and get some of those feedback from you, from you this morning.